what's what's good, Black like, Podcast? Y'all simply is gonna piss me the fuck off, and I'm and I, y'all y'all gonna piss me the hell off. Y'all are gonna piss me the French toast off. Some of you clown, goofy ass motherfuckers out here nowadays is over here willing to doggone be a cuck. For these fucking raggy, ragamuffin ass broads. Let me. So, Red Pill Science sent me this bullshit. Because this fucking. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, I'm about to go in. Here, here we fucking go. To all the simps out there talking about. Oh, I love her. I love this. I love that. Let me tell you stupid motherfucker something. This is your life. And I'll be damned if I'm part of it. It's gonna be amazing. So while people sort of trickle in and as the notifications go out, um, let me uh, share a little bit about what I've been doing this week. So for Cuck Week 2023, I have been doing a chat every day at this time um, on the theme of cuckolding is, which is our Cuck Week 2023 uh, theme this year, cuckolding is. And so I started off on Monday with cuckolding is not for me, which was essentially my reaction when my partner first brought the idea of cuckolding to me on Tuesday, I went with the theme of cuckolding is new and fresh. I talked about what it was like to be in a new cuckolding relationship and all of the exciting things we wanted to explore. On Wednesday, I talked about how I like to uh, compare cuckolding to strength training for a relationship all of the uh, challenges that you go through that stretch out your relationship muscle. Yeah, stretch out your relationship muscles. You mean stretching high dog on coochie. Oh, oh, oh boy. And then it's as you grow movie. through them, you get stronger as a couple. Do you? Um, Yesterday, I talked about cuckolding is loving, passionate, and sexy. What in the French toast is this bra talking about? So, uh, getting a little deeper into how I found uh, myself in uh, my cuckolding, how I found uh, my sexual identity, how I owned it, um, experiencing awesome pleasure, and so on. And today, I am going to be talking on the theme of cuckolding is more than I ever dreamed. See, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all damn stupid motherfuckers out here nowadays. Oh, God. See, this is why this... This whole bullshit no show, notion of them letting your chick go out there and smash as many, as many dudes as she want to while you watch. That's a bitch move. I'm sorry. I, and I'm going to tell you why I feel like that. You letting your damn chick go out here and damn have as many relations as you want to. Somebody better ask Destiny what the fuck happened with that bullshit. Open that bullshit polyamory that he was doing with his wife. Somebody need to ask Destiny. Because apparently that shit don't fucking work. She feeling like happy because it's, it's benefiting her. While the guy over here getting his damn fucking nuts stepped on every time a dude comes in and smashed it, smash her. <laughs> it's going to be one of them motherfucking nights. I can already see it. Um, in which I'm going to explore how cuckolding has um, enhanced my life with my partner and has brought so much uh, to us and honestly to others um, over. Let me just interject right here. I wonder what kind of crap. Mm. 
I wonder what kind of substance this broad is smoking because apparently she believing in she getting high on her own supply of bullshit. Over the nearly decade that uh, we've been together, so uh, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and uh, moan. I'm just going to bring the chat up. So uh, there we go. So TK421, did you ever cover um, Super Dick or something on day two? Actually, yes. Let it be a nigga. Oh, she, he going to really be hurting. Mm. Uh, Mr. Awesome Fucker, I did. I did cover that on day two. And we had some technical issues on YouTube. You should have. But I did get that recorded on Moan. So I have the audio. And, Moan, that's um, what I call Moan. I can share it with people. Uh, so, yeah. Cuckolding. This week, I have gone from, ah, uh, I don't think cuckolding is for me at the beginning, to now saying cuckolding is more than I ever dreamed it could be. And um, it's true. It, it, I was actually just, just this morning I had a uh, lunch date. I don't know why it was called a lunch date. Well, I do know why it's called a lunch date. So there's this uh, networking thing. I think it's called lunch date AI or something like that, where you get connected with people all around the world um, who have different like perspectives and business things and so on. It's mostly business. It's like a it's like a networking thing. And I was connected with somebody, and uh, she. And I both do like sort of like relationship, education, coaching, you know, that sort of thing. And both of us uh, had left a relationship that wasn't working for us, got into the relationships that we're in now. She about eight and a half years ago, me about nine and a half years ago. And we were talking about how 10 years ago, neither of us could have imagined how amazing a relationship could be like we didn't even have the framework in our minds we didn't have the language in our minds to even comprehend the lives that we live now and I feel that way about cuckolding. We talked yesterday a bit about um, how cuckold wannabes often uh, get it wrong when they approach their partners about cuckolding or approach women online about cuckolding, which actually, interestingly enough, brings me up to an experience I just had this morning related to cuckolding as well. So I get this message on uh, FetLife that says, I too have some teaching experience, but, but was trained and worked as a broadcast journalist and other jobs related. I've been fantasizing about becoming a cuckold for years. And before I even knew the word, I've had an interesting life, world traveled, and have crossed the line into taboo often. Well, and role play, you are better. Note something that you might have not have added a relationship with me on FetLife that they were my friends with benefits. I've never spoken to this person before in my life. Like, seriously, how crazy is this, right? Um, did he turn on you? Uh, well, no, there was no actual opportunity to turn on me because as soon as I saw that they had done a friends with benefits with me without ever actually meeting me, I just blocked them. That was a big no for me. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Dennis says, uh, most of the times cucks like me become cucks. We realize that our dicklet might not be satisfying our queen, but you have to be honest and mature to understand your weaknesses and strengths. Continue if your partner realizes that she has the option of getting banged with a younger fit man, pound the shit out of her because uh, other hand, 
everything sexually was good with my queen before she got ill. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... I'm fucking... This, this, this is gonna be the video that probably gets my channel blocked. Uh, I, I got, I just got a certain sneaky suspicion that this is gonna be that video that's gonna get my ass booted off fucking YouTube. I already got a feeling because I'm about to go off. <laughs> it's interesting to me that a lot of people sort of like come into this lifestyle thinking that they have to present themselves in a very specific sort of way. And usually they get that all wrong. Like for example, Dennis, I'm gonna use you an example. The way Dennis is speaking, talking about his small little dicklet and so on and so forth, that is Dennis's perspective and that's okay. I mean, I have this kind of uh, dialogue with my partner as well. Um, it is part of the way we interact in order to bring uh, fun humiliation into our play. However, I think it's incredibly important to understand that that sort of discussion is deeply intimate. I don't ever want somebody to come up to me and meet me and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, I have a tiny little dicklet and I'll put it at your service as you're cuckold. Like, that's a no. That's, that's a big no. That's not going to happen, right? It's different if you're in a relationship, right? Because then you have the opportunity to create these types of languages together, as Ramon says, with communication and consent. And this is the part that I think, like, I really want to get across more than anything out of these, you know, five days that I'm discussing cuck week, discussing for cuck week is it's not when you're starting out, when you're looking for this relationship, you don't have the framework in your mind for what this is. Like, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't take any more of this shit. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, because I'm about to fucking flip the shit out. I'm about to flip the fuck out. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I, I, I can't do it. See, this is the problem. This is the biggest problem with a lot of these people. These people think that this bullshit that they send makes all the damn sense in the fucking world. Problem is, there's a such thing as called boundaries. And there's a such thing called, um, I'm not letting my broad get fucked by another dude because I can't fucking perform. That ain't happening. See, they want to talk about, oh, you got to be mature about it. Bitch, fuck you. Just because your little dick ass can't fucking please the bitch don't mean shit to me. If she ain't happy, send her ass on. Send her ass on to that motherfucker over there. Scoop, scoop, bitch. You can buy. Bye-bye. I don't care. I'm sorry. These guys out here talking about, oh, I'm going to be a cuck for my, for my woman because I can't satisfy her. I can't please her. So I'm going to just let her go out there and screw as many guys as she wants to. See, this is the reason why men don't want to get fucking married. Because you got broads like this crazy chick talking about cuck being a cuck. Cuck is this. Cuck is that. Bitch, have you lost your damn mind? Uh, well, never mind. You have lost your damn mind. You one of these liberal ass women talking about, oh, me and my partner, this and that. If I'm paying the bills in the house... I'm doing the stuff as a man and I'm fucking fucking you. You better keep moving. You better shut the fuck up and don't ask me about this bullshit. And the fact of the matter is, is that he brought up being a cuckold. Bruh, you obviously got some fucking mental issues. Because apparently you're not thinking straight. You are your woman is you are telling your woman that you want her to go get fucked by another dude and embarrass you. Because 
you want to be embarrassed because that's a kink for you. There's a such thing as too much damn information. And apparently, if you want to live your life like that, cool, so be it. I don't care. Fuck, you can go, you can go have your wife, you have your woman fuck as many dudes as she want to. But the problem is, when you start to fucking try to push this ideology on fucking people because that's what you fucking fall in love with, and that's because you're a kink. No. Ask Destiny how that shit worked out. Ask Destiny how he felt when Abba from Abba and Preach was dancing with his wife in the background while he was trying to stream. If you ask me, Destiny was feeling very uncomfortable. You talking about this and this chick over here talking about talking about cuckold is, is better and you have to be mature about it. Man, fuck out of here. Because I can guarantee you this. If that dude wouldn't go fuck another bitch, she would be fucking mad as hell, raising hell, throwing shit, breaking shit, all sorts of shit because she don't want that man out there fucking nobody else. I can guarantee it. She would break everything in that motherfucking house quick, fast, and hurry because she's going to feel like her spot is threatened because this dude's out here smashing another bitch that probably looks better than her. Let's keep it a buck here. Y'all don't want to have this honest conversation about this shit and then you have fucking clown ass dudes in her comment section. I didn't even go through the comment section. I look, I was going through the comment section before I, I even started the video and it's just disgusting. <gasps> it's just fucking disgusting. And the shameful part is this. You have men okay with this. You have oh you you okay with men men are okay doing this. What the f bro? Let me share my screen again. Look, this dude right here, this dude, this dude. I tell you, Aaron said cuckolding really made me, really makes me thankful to be alive, and be the piece of garbage I was meant to be. What the fuck does that mean? This is clearly about the women not actually wanting to be with their husbands. Exactly. Superb video. Really? You would say that shit. I think Mr. Dicklet feels subhuman. The only thing this has, has done is to allow you to be with the men you actually want to be and force your husband to be okay with it. Exactly. Suggestions? Any suggestions for a woman being bringing it up to a man? How would you? How would you do? How you would you go about that? What? Oh, so we got a woman right here that needs to be fucking left. Most couples I know start out by uh, start out with swinging. If they're not ready to, uh, if they're not already in a kink, kink. These fucking degenerate ass people. And then y'all wondering why men don't want to get married. Hurt my hurt my dog. You bleed it out. You bleed it out. What the fuck is it? My wife interested? This site is pure BS. They don't post negative responses. Bruh, this, this, this is the kind of, this is kind of shit that people, <laughs> this, this, this is, this is kind of shit that people, <laughs> oh my God, I, it, the more and more I look on the internet, the more and more I lose fucking hope for humanity. Because you got people like this promoting this clownery. And then they think it's okay. And the thing is, she's saying it with so much positivity. Like, it's the best thing since sliced fucking bread. Me, allowed, me my husband allowed me to get plowed and railed by a, uh, by a younger, different dude with a bigger dick. It makes me feel so good. Yeah, you feel good, all right. Getting your insides turned in and out, left and right, all up, down, down, side to side and shit. 
while your husband over there just looking like, that's my wife, over there with a tear coming down his, down his eye, like, that's my wife, secretly feeling dead inside because he, because he's seeing his wife get plowed and she's enjoying it, yeah, yeah, what it means to be a man, mm-hmm, to allow his wife to get plowed by Chad Thunderstrokes or Chad Thundercock. Yeah. Women, that's your advocate. Right there. And don't be don't be mad when you find out why men just say fuck this shit right here. That's exactly why. We need yeah, fuck that. Y'all allow it, y'all celebrate it, y'all praise it. Shoot, fine by me. Go ahead and do it. Tits on up, because I'm going to go ahead and say, fuck that shit right there, big fella. Not doing it. Y'all want to do it? Bow out gracefully, go ahead. But don't be mad when men say, fuck it, and exit the dating market left and right. Quick, fast, and hurry. Don't be mad. You just get glad. You get what you want. You get the size of the damn dingling you want. Inside of you, and you can't say shit about it. You get what you want, he's gonna leave you and get what the fuck he wants, which is a respectful relationship if he wants that. Because you could apparently got a lot of these sick ass dudes out here talking about, oh, I want to be a cuckold. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and do that. And um, don't be mad when that bitch out there getting her insides plowed by, um, by that, uh, that dude. Yeah, but anyways, um, like, share, subscribe, channel, uh, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, subscribe, and comment. See you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.